Put the full dive in. Full dive in, yeah. <laughs> Everyone likes seeing what you eat, apparently. They seem to be saying, yeah, what, what more what have, you, have got? you got? So. I'm not a plonker. Go for the coffee. Cheers. Colombian. It's, a, it's the Colombian. Just and then it kicks in. Yeah. Really you can good, taste really the good um, notes of flavour and that in it. I can't remember what it's in the packet. Probably what I wouldn't do. What's that? Yeah. What I wouldn't do is. It's off us, mate. Yes. That's thingy. Extras. Eventually. So can we eat yet? Yeah, Full day of eating. So we're starving. basically we're just having a coffee at the moment because Harry Harold is not ready to start no. filming yet. Surprise! I mean, there's a shop. We've just got to wait until he's ready to film our breakfast. Really? That's what we're paying for. Full day of eating today. Mike's still on a little mini cup before his holiday, mm -hmm. so he'll be eating low calorie. Yeah, I'm it's peak, peak week. I'm we're still peak week. Is yeah. it still next week? You go. Monday. Wow. It's well, I mean, coming on start peak week. Peak week, Jesus. And I've been actually eating quite healthily. I've not been like mini cutting technically. Been sticking to lower calorie foods, high protein, low calorie foods, breakfast, lunches, snacks, things like that. So that's been going pretty well. I've lost a little bit of weight. Nothing crazy, but just need to eat well before Christmas. We are going to do a Christmas food challenge. It's been a long time since we've done a food Stop challenge. Stop saying we, you're going to do one. Yeah, you'll be there as well. I'll be there. Oh, well, I'll, be there. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. I wonder if Leah wants to do one. Ooh. If anybody's got any ideas of a Christmas festive food challenge, let us know. People will be like, oh, as many sprouts as possible. <laughs> no, that's not happening. So, as many pigs in blankets. Yeah, nobody wants. I can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Turkey. Oh, well. Mike doesn't eat pork anymore. Give up pork. <laughs> You've got to work out why. And this conversation is finished. I'll work out how many. Yeah. I'll, take off, I'll take off the money you owe me. Oh, yeah, yeah. That backfired, didn't it? Hey. Oh. Right, let's go see what we're going to eat. A few inches later. Concentrate. It's hard work. Yeah, give it a little tickle, give it a little rub, spit on it, and then try to take it all. Dan, I mean, you haven't talked about it much, but you got a new toy, haven't you? Got a new toy, mate. My one wheel arrived, didn't I? I'm a proper YouTuber now. We're doing a spoon peak week, are we, as well? Yeah. So look out for that. I don't know which will be out first. Harry doesn't even know. Yeah, Harry doesn't know, yeah. Anyway. But we'll do it. Do you know, like, oh, we did the spoof amateur bodybuilding, spoof Instagram, and all that. Quack. What's your favourite type of sausage? I like my man black. Do you like a Frank first then? I like black men. I'm going to put some sauce on it. Are you allowed sauce on a diet? Yeah, probably not. But, you know, I always break the rules, don't I? Risky business, that. I hate that. Scattergun. So the bit at the beginning you're talking about when it's dead watery is worse than the scattergun, definitely at the end. But at least after the watery bit, you know you've got a nice full bottle of ketchup as yeah. much as you want. Yeah, I mean, I can just go to the shop and buy another. Oh, Although yeah. I've been slagged off for buying not Heinz. Dare anybody to tell the difference in flavour. It's tomato ketchup, how different can it be? If you want the rainbow, you've got to part with the rain. Do you know which philosopher said that? Donny Martin. I always have two breakfasts. I can't sweet have savory. one, yeah, sweet and savoury. But that'll keep me going now, yeah. until whenever. One, two. So Mike reckons you don't, you can't tell the difference between ketchups. So we're gonna find out. Rice cake, we use a rice cake. Health in it. Do you reckon rice cake? cake? Or are you gonna do what, you just dip your finger in? I have a dip finger in, or I've got some 5% uh, chips. We can just have a couple of chips. Reckon, I make yeah, a couple of chips. It's got to be chips. It's got to be chips. Yeah. This car snack, is it? Car snack, yeah. Yeah. They're for the car, they're not for me. It's for the car. Keep the car going. Fanta grape, well, that's the standard, that's a classic. And then I thought we tried the festive clementine, new flavour. We'll do a taste test, shall we? A lot of taste tests today. <laughs> well, mate, that's, that's all you can do on YouTube, innit? That's all you can do. Yeah. Don't take that off yet, because you're not trying try one. Don't take the tag off that. I'll take that off without trying. Alright, just ignore me. They're tight there, aren't they? You can see the sock, see the sock on that side? No, I won't be wearing them with socks though. I'll take them off there. I mean, I would be if I had your feet, to be honest. Can you walk in them? Do they walk like your parents just make you do it? Remember your parents where you do that at the shoe shop? Yeah. Yeah, walk, walk up and down. down. <laughs> walk up and down, mate. <laughs> they look alright, mate, eh? They do. I 
can't walk in here. I see what you mean, it is kind of going that way, so that's lovely. Yeah, and even, we, I bet with no <laughs> sock on, I bet it's worse than that. No one needs to see those feet. My eyes! So this is where it's ended up. Mike says you can't tell the difference. So this would naturally. Let's find out. So we've gone for daddies. I never have daddies anyway. Daddy. Joke there somewhere. Daddy. <laughs> Daddies, originally the brown sauce was their famous one. Because dads love brown sauce. Yeah. You're a dad and you like brown sauce. Brown sauce yeah. I'm not a dad. Heinz, full sugar. They've gone for the reduced sugar and salt, Heinz. And then the reduced sugar and salt, Asda. Asda, right? So it's a small bowl of chips, and we're gonna obviously salt and vinegar it. Chip shop style. So a bit of vinegar on there. Lovely. Yeah. A little bit of salt. Good luck, yeah. What's gonna happen is Mike's gonna go out of the room. I'm going to squirt the ketchups on the plate, I'm going to number them, squirt. I'm going to show you what numbers are, and then we're going to see if the main man is good enough to not know the difference. I've not had ketchup for so long that's not reduced uh, sugar. Oh, here you go. Is that one, number one? It's number two. Number three. Wow, they are different colours, all of them. Okay, and then, oh, which one have I got left? This one, number four. Okay, I've got one ready. <laughs> I'm, <sorry. laughs> I'm gonna go for number one first, naturally, and I'm just gonna work my way around and see if I know what's what. Probably won't make a snap judgment until I've tasted it. Uh, yeah, I'll be smart. Can't tell the difference, says Mike. Can't tell the difference. Mm, that's good, though, isn't it? That's much tangier for that. <laughs> and I don't think that makes any difference, so. You can't. <laughs> Just ketchup at this point. That's daddy's. Four. That's daddy's. And daddy's is. You are fing useless. <laughs> no, we're keeping that in. We're keeping the dark in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are. We're keeping it in because I said some valuable things in that. Batteries are out. Do you, do you know the amount of detail that Harry goes into in most things, but then the fundamentals he lacks? <laughs> Yeah. Like, just something like, is the battery charged? It'll take about three days to set something up, but it actually doesn't work, the thing that you set up. DM for inquiries. Yeah. Right, that is four, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna go that that's one. No, no, Ooh. no. Oh, he, no. he can't tell the difference. No. He can't tell the difference. No. That is gonna be on there, and that's gonna be on there. Yeah, that's going to that. That's going there, okay? That's going there. That's going there. Okay. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think you've got pretty much all of them wrong. What? I mean, if I remember correctly, it was that one. No, not remember. Why have you not read it down? <laughs> Daddy's is definitely there. That yeah. one there. Oh, so I got it right. That shows you can't tell the difference. Yeah, which was the best one, though? The one that I like. Is that one, really? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, so I prefer the taste of the reduced. There you go. But they're tangier. So I thought that that would mean it had got more sugar in. Do you need something in the plate or not? Probably not. Dad, come in. Mm -hmm. There's your chips there. Uh, We're number one. Good choice. Good start. McCain's reduced 5%. Tangier. Mm, it's a bit different. Mm. I don't think the chip actually help. Do you not? Know You've got to have the chips, otherwise it's not fair to test. Come on, you know science. I'm cheating a little bit because I do know the colour. It's shit. That is the worst one. Yeah. That tastes like the kind of one you get like in like really cheap shit restaurants. Yeah. They always have that. I reckon it's that. I think it's that. So you got the daddies. Yeah, that's obvious. That one's there. Is it? That one's there. That one's there. So what? That one's a full sugar. Yeah. Like you genuinely can't tell those between those two. Like, <laughs> genuinely. I know. So yeah, that is definitely the worst one. Yeah, definitely. Right. But also, interestingly, just looking at this. So per hundred gram with this, they use 148 grams per 100 grams of tomato ketchup of tomatoes. Pardon? They were, used 148 grams per 100 gram? Yeah, of ketchup. Huh? And this one has even more tomatoes and then that, that one, that's 174. And this one is 246. So Asda is more tomatoey. More tomatoey. But there you go. I think that's safe to say that between the Heinz's and the own brand, you can't tell the difference. You no. can definitely tell that. Shit. That is a sh Don't yeah. get that. Get one of these. If you think you could do it, let us know. Comment below. Mayo next. I'd easily do mayo. Yeah. The full fat mayo is so eggy. Barbecue sauce? Yeah, barbecue sauce would be a good one. Let's actually have a lunch now, shall we? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Lunch time! Mountain of vegetables. That goes in there. Chicken and veg again. Yeah, I'm gonna fry that veg. I've already got some pre cooked chicken. So I can lock that. Smart, in. mate, that. The pre cooked chicken. Yeah. Smart man, you. And again, that. like, if people don't have the facilities to cook if you're at work and stuff, 
obviously you wouldn't have the veg, or you could maybe do them the night before. Right? But there's nothing wrong with just buying this. Why not buy that and that, stick them together, put some of that on it. Match made in heaven. Put some of that on it. It's not the most exciting, but it gets the job done. That's weight loss. That is. That is, it is. That's, that's the end of the day. What are you expecting, like, Quack. pie and mash? So the last um, day of eating on a mini cut, we ate at Nando's. We're going to go to a different restaurant this evening and show that you can go to another restaurant whilst dieting on 2,000 calories and we're going to make the whole day fit. So, so far I've eaten 500. So the chicken sausages were roughly about 200 and about 200 grams of wheat yogurt and with some cereal came to about 280. It's about 500, roughly. There's going to be 450 grams of chicken in here. In fact, there's going to be three of us, so... A bit more. A little bit more, so probably, what, 600 grams, so 200 grams of chicken each. Again, that'll be roughly 200 calories. I'm not going to trap my veg because I'm mini cutting. I don't really need to. And there's just fucking veg. It's just veg. So I'll be 200, so I'll be going into my evening meal out on about seven. Call it 800 if you want to be pernickety about it. So then my evening meal, I'm going to look in advance, probably track about seven, 800 calories worth. So that'll be me on about 1600. And then I'll have a snack before bed, possibly some Greek yogurt. And again, I'm coming under 2,000 calories. But again, probably not literally. Literally though, though or literally more than that though. So no. basically, this refers to some guy on the last video going, Mike didn't literally have 2,000 calories though, did he? Literally ate more than that though, didn't he, Mike? Didn't you, Mike? Well, no. Well, no, literally. Otherwise, I want to make a <laughs> video about it. Would you call it 3,000? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's basically as low as your calories you can go while hitting your protein. Essentially, that is the main goal, isn't it? So there's enough protein in it, and also you kind of... We're not really doing anything today, we're just filming videos, so we're just sat on the house, we're not really like spending that much energy. Like Mike said before, like, obviously we'd rather be having pie and mash. Obviously, like, who wouldn't? But it's not conducive to our goals right now. So we're eating chicken and veg. So how do you feel after meal two? Full. Very full, actually. We just set up the boudoir. How's your meal? That meal? Yeah, full day. Do you know how I feel about it? Yeah, I feel. The same as every other day that I've had it for the last three and a half weeks. Yeah. That exact same meal. Just does a job, doesn't it? Yeah, it just does, just a, just job. does a job. Tell him <laughs> off with it yet, yeah, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> Flexible dieting is all well and good, but at the same time, you probably are just going to eat the same foods over and over again. One, it's easy and makes your food shop easy. You go down the same aisles. Like we were in Asda earlier, I went down the same aisles as I always yeah. go down. No thought process. I know exactly what I'm having for my breakfast pretty much the same every day, lunch pretty much the same every day, really quick, easy, simple, take any thought out of it while I'm working. The evening meal is where it kind of changes. Mm. I say five days out of the week, I'll probably have turkey burgers, but then the other two days we're going to eat out tonight, and then I might eat out another time or have something slightly different. But at the same time, it's still a meal plan, but it's just You've chosen more enjoyable. It. Yeah, You've I've chosen, chosen it. You've chosen it based I'm, on your taste. I've not been told I can eat seven cashew nuts with salmon and raspberries. Yeah, it's stupid. As an adult, you have to eat some of your meals as a function. It's just energy, it just does a job. And as bad as that sounds, that's the reality. Like, we're all eating, most people. Yeah. The reason that they're no way is because they eat for fun all the time. But like the way that we do it is like, well, food is fuel, but we kind of do eat what you want as well. So like when people yeah. ask me, oh, I don't know what to eat. Like, well, what did you eat? Before, before you were dieting. Well, I, I used to eat it. Well, eat that, track it, make it slightly healthier, stop cooking it in oil, maybe change your steak for a leaner cut of meat or whatever. Like maybe change the burger for a turkey burger and lighter cheese and put it in a bagel thin. What do you like to eat? But then change it slightly to make it slightly healthier. Mm. Just make the smaller changes. Easy, innit? This is probably my most useless um, purchase. More than a watch? So this is yeah. technically a sport, right? So you only pre work yeah, it. Basically yeah. working out. Oh my god. That's the grid. <laughs> <laughs> Six hours later. I don't reckon that's saying for calories. I don't. It's rice and really lean the chicken. The only thing it is, it could be the sticky rice because they cook it in there with sugar and that. Yeah. Decent amount of vegetables. Again, we'll track it at 800. So basically what we've got, so obviously we're at Wagamama's. So now we've done last week's Nando's, this week's Wagamama's, again on a 2,000 calorie budget for the day. This is the chicken teriyaki donburi, which is basically just rice and lean chicken with veg. Um, in teriyaki sauce, which is very, very minimal. Uh, we've gone for the edamame, which we're gonna share. There's minimal fat, minimal carbs, quite high protein in this, we're going to share that, that's 120 calories each if we share it. And this comes in at 780, so the whole meal 
is 900, which again, probably looks as though it's quite a lot 900. People wouldn't estimate that this is 900, right? No. Essentially, that's more than Big Mac. But you're gonna get higher protein in this, probably a little bit less fat than a Big Mac meal. It's probably gonna fill you up a little bit more. Gonna fill you up a little a bit, bit more. more. fiber. Yeah, so a lot of people, when they're eating out, they'll underestimate what their food is, and they'll go, oh, I've eaten healthy or whatever, and it probably won't be even as healthy as this. And even this is 900 calories. Now, if you're a female eating this portion, it doesn't really leave huge amounts of food left for the rest of the day. So you've got to be careful when you eat out, but we're just showing that this is probably one of the better options. If you're going to go better than this at Wagamama's, there's the chili chicken ramen, which I think comes in at about 400 calories. Basically soup with chicken in. Basically soup with a broth yeah. with chicken in, chicken and noodles. But we just wanted to show that you can eat out at multiple restaurants. It doesn't have to be Nando's. You can come here. Again, you tailor the rest of your day. I didn't have a bagel at breakfast. We didn't have a wrap at lunch. We kept things quite light. And again, you're not going to eat out every day. This is just like, say, for a weekend, you want to eat out with your own half, whatever, yeah. social. I could easily have eaten at home and instead had something different for even fewer calories than this. But we were just showing that even on a mini cup, you can still eat out. Easy. Yeah. Let's eat. Right, about to come into Mike's car because it's too dark outside. We're going dogging. Anyway, I'm just off home now. I'm going to drive home. Mike's going to go to the gym. I don't do the gym, you see. I don't bother with that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I miss that bit out, don't I? Mm. I want to get one of these t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, really I'll nice. Get Ultra flex t-shirts. Ultra flex, yeah. Extra small boys. So yeah, just a three and a half hour drive back now. Um, I reckon when I get in, I'm probably going to have a bowl of yogurt with some fruit. Yeah. As is Michael. What was your calorie time? What was your calorie amount for the day so far? So so far, I've just put everything in over the wagamama. So again, there's probably, there's probably, probably someone to tell you that it's probably wrong. But. Yeah. So just to reiterate, I've had teriyaki chicken donburi. Half a bowl of edamame, 250 grams of Greek yogurt, 20 grams of cereal on it. In fact, I've put in too much cereal there. Five hake chicken sausages, 200 grams of chicken. Cooked chicken. And so far I've come in at just under 1600 calories, which means I've got about 400 left to use to hit the 2000, which I said I was going to hit. So that'll probably be two smaller bowls of Greek yogurt, I think, than I had earlier, because I'll probably have two yeah. feedings because I'm on And I'll be on similar. So I had a bagel, didn't I, with my you, breakfast? You had a, so I had a bit more. I didn't different. have the cereal, though. You didn't, have the, you didn't have the Greek yogurt. So be about the same. 175. Be about the same. Roughly about the same, yeah. So when I get in, I'm going to have a bowl of yogurt and fruit as well, but probably just once. Mine might come in at 1800, 1900. There you go, full day of eating. That's how it's done. Very, very simple. It's easy to Again. do. Like It's just about having the things in the house that are conducive to your goals. If your goal is to lose weight, don't have loads of high calorie <laughs> food lying around the house. Mm. You can eat out and do it. We've still had to go through the day and not eat huge amounts. So yeah. Arguably, like, I'd rather have not eaten out and rather have done that, but it just shows you that it can be done. If you're not dieting in particularly for like a really, I suppose, specific goal that's, you know, really really close you can afford to have the odd meal out like that and still hit your calories even if you went to maintenance calories one day of the week that's an extra 500 calories potentially today we could have had so we could have had a bit more maybe a starter i mean for me my maintenance is way above that, like, way above I, that I, yeah. I, could, I could have easily have gone in a little bit more i could have had yeah. dessert and that's just one day at maintenance potentially that you could then go well for the rest of the time you're still in a deficit so but again i think the reason why we're picking about 2000 i mean one i find it easy to stick to but two like yeah. for these videos for most guys 2000 would be a you'd deficit probably see you know loss, you yeah. probably see weight loss um, so that's why we've gone for about the 2000 like I could probably get away with dieting on 26 2700 and still lose weight but like, it wouldn't help that many people because no. most people are gonna need to eat less than that but yeah. like again we've just shown completely different meals to our last 2000 calorie day of eating all different loads of different stuff we've eaten at Nando's Wagamama's again very very simple if you know what you're doing easy right stay safe have a lovely trip home I will do enjoy the gym I will yeah see you later push day